First time speaking today, you guys. And I'm like, do I sound like that? Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a day in my life. Today is Wednesday, and if you guys are watching this on the day of premiere, which is tomorrow as I'm filming this, I ended up not starting a weekly vlog because I had to go home yesterday for like a really early doctor's appointment, and then I worked from like my house all day, and then I saw my roommates, my old roommates, at night for dinner. So. I honestly was just running around so much that I didn't even think about starting my vlog until like the end of the day. So no weekly vlog next week, but I need to figure that out. Whatever, as you guys are watching this right now, this is a nice day in my life. And I think this will be fun because today is also my hair transformation day. Today is finally the day you guys that we are not going to be this color of whatever this is anymore. For any of you guys that might be here just for the hair transformation, I'm gonna leave a timestamp here for you guys. But otherwise just come spend the day with me. I'm gonna go to the office today and get a lot of work done and then I'm gonna leave a little bit early and work from the hair salon midday so I have like a pretty busy day ahead of me but I think this will be fun because if you guys have been here on my channel for a while for the last two years I've been meaning to film a hair transformation and it's always just a day where I'm like running around being really hectic and just not getting a chance to film it so today's finally the day that we're gonna film my hair transformation and I'm really excited because I am actually going darker. This is kind of like a grown out blonde, but as you guys can see, my natural hair is like pretty jet black and my hair has grown out really well. Honestly, the last time I did my hair was in October and it's literally the end of June and I feel like it's actually grown out really well. I go to Hair X Jojo in the Fairfax area for any of you guys that are in the DMV and I'm not kidding you guys, like her magic is in my hair. The fact that it's been like seven, eight months since I've dyed my hair and it still looks this good, I think is really, really great because it's honestly been like seven, eight months since I last dyed my hair and I've never toned it or anything. I just use like purple shampoo every now and then and I think my hair has faded really, really well. But like I said, we're not gonna be blonde anymore. We are gonna go darker. I'm really excited. I have like Insta pictures, but I'm honestly just gonna go to her and tell her like, an idea of what I want and she will give me something. I like totally trust her. So I thought it'd be fun to just take you guys along my day and show you guys my hair transformation finally. And yeah, this will be pretty chill. Here's my outfit today. Let me show you guys like the full outfit. Here is my full outfit today. I want to be able to just take something off when I go to the hair salon. These are the Archer pants from Princess Polly. I got them tailored a little bit just because I'm really short, but I love these pants so much. They just fit like really, really, really well. And they're in the color slate. And then I just have a white t-shirt that I tucked in so that when I go to the hair salon, I can just take off the sweater. But here's the overall office look. It usually gets pretty cold in the office. So I just have this cardigan that I will put over. This is my office outfit. This, ew. Is this ugly? Um, no, this is ugly. Hold on. How's this? Okay, I feel like this looks better. Ew, wait, does it? Something is weird. Honestly, guys, it really doesn't matter because like, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like two or three people in the office today and my whole entire team is remote. So this is pretty office appropriate, but I have a cardigan in the office that I always keep. It really doesn't matter. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today anyway. So this is my outfit. <laughs> okay, how about we get ready for work and then it's only 7.30 so I have a little bit of computer work to do for just like some YouTube stuff and then we will be off to the office, but let's go. makeup look and I want to give you guys like a full before of my hair. I'm actually really excited because I've loved being blonde like ever since I started blonding my hair with this girl maybe like two 
who three three or four years ago I've like only ever loved it and I've always said like I felt reborn whenever I redid my hair and once I went blonde I was born again and stuff and honestly like I have really loved it it's really just me wanting a change and I just feel like it'd be fun to go darker I can always go light again that's what's nice about hair you can literally change it whenever you want but I just feel like it could look good to go darker it'll be different so here's my hair here's my finished look let's go to the office and I will see you guys very soon but I'm really glad I like took a second too to like clean up my apartment because my apartment was just like a mess and I hate when it's a mess <laughs> here's my work bag as you guys know I have an updated what's in my work bag video you guys just like okay I thought this outfit was incomplete but like with the bag you're like oh like she's going to work <laughs> I just think this bag is so cute especially with the shoulder strap and then I'm also gonna bring an extra tote bag I just have like lunch in here today so I'm bringing a salad that my mom made me because I was home yesterday and just like the salad is so big I can't wait to eat it and then I just have some chicken that I'm currently thawing because because I forgot to take it out last night, but it should be fine. And then I'm gonna have a bagel for breakfast later because I don't know why, I just really want a bagel for some reason. And then I have a Chobani complete as like my snack or other breakfast, I don't know. I will see you guys at around like 2.30 when I leave to go. It's around eight o'clock now, so I'm gonna get to the office early and just have myself a day and then finish work at the hair salon, but I will see you guys very soon. Let's have a good day. Off to work I go with all my bags. Okay, actual last thing before we go, we're gonna take my greens because you guys know I can't go without this. This is the Amazing Grass Detox and Digest Superfoods. I actually restocked on the original one too, but I'm just trying to finish this up. I don't really have a preference. I just like the original more, I guess. It feels like, it tastes basically the same, but I just like this one more. And it comes in like the value size, so it's just more bang for your buck. But okay, seriously, last thing before we go. I just like can't go without this. It like really puts my stomach in like a good place before I start work. Oh my God, I did a lot of liquid today. <laughs> okay, seriously, now I'm off to work. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day again. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm here. I took off my sunglasses. Here's one last look at my hair. I wanted to make like a reel or something. Maybe I'll make like one, but I don't have time. Here's my hair one last time. It's really, really long too. And I think I'm gonna get a cut, just like a trim. I honestly like it long and I don't wanna do like too many changes at once. So we're gonna keep the length and just do a trim, but more or less we're gonna go darker. I like can't wait. I feel like I'm gonna hate it at first just because it's gonna feel so different, but I just cannot wait. Before I go in, I wanna tell you guys like two or three tips. If you're here just for like the hair transformation stuff, if you have really dark hair like mine, like jet black hair, just know that if you wanna go lighter, you cannot do it all at once. Like to get my hair as light as it is, and this is like literally grown out like seven months at this point, but to get it as light as it was, it took probably like three sessions. And I'll put all of my like, I guess, hair progress pictures here of like each time I went lighter with this girl. So it took a number of sessions. If you have darker hair, it'll take a while, but it'll pay off and it's just better for your hair if you do it in layers like that. And my second tip is like, you have to trust the person that's doing your hair and just know that like all of your inspo pictures is not your hair and hair does like whatever it wants to do and every stylist is different. So you kind of just have to go in with a grain of salt that your inspo pictures won't look probably exactly as you think think it will but that's the beauty of the art for a hairstylist that's like what she does so or he those are like my two tips I gotta go in let's go get my hair done and I need to work but I went in really early so that I could at least have like an hour in between and stuff so let's go goodbye hair <laughs> Stupid boys call me, me, me to text The way
It makes me sick. I can't seem to quit the adrenaline. Wasting my youth in pressing the snow sweat. The sun's still in view. Then why do I do this? I'm being stupid. You guys oh my god okay wait you guys it looks even crazier like on camera which is why i'm looking at the viewfinder but you guys what do you guys think of my new hair honestly you guys it took forever because i mean you guys saw me before it doesn't it doesn't take like one or two hours to go from like how light that was to this it took a long time it's like 9 p.m so but it's worth it let me know what you guys think of the hair. This is the first time I've even had like a chocolate brown color since like freshman year of college. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think this fits me more? Do you guys like the blonde more? Do you wish I had like jet black hair? I don't know, but I feel like this was like the change that I needed. I just needed like a different change of something. And I feel like weirdly reborn into the dark side with this hair. Make sure you guys follow HairXJojo on Instagram, especially if you guys are in the DMV. She is amazing. She is literally amazing. She's the best. I love her so much. And she's also just like so much fun to hang out with. You guys just have to support Joanne or just comment and say she did such a great job because she did. <laughs> okay, well, I'm like, so hungry i haven't eaten since noon and i need to eat so i'm gonna eat like this chicken salad that my mom made me let me just change and let's wind down even though i'm like so excited with my hair let's just relax let's just relax i feel like i gave you like such a long time lapse of everything with my hair but as i make my dinner let's just talk about my hair more <laughs> here's the salad that my mom made me it's like this huge salad i don't even know if i'm gonna eat all of this i don't think i need all of this I'm like, this is large, but it's all vegetables. Here's what we're gonna do, mom. I'm gonna take half of my mom's salad. Oops, I'm smelling. Is anybody like me, you guys? And like, you could be 25 or 35 or, I don't even know how old and still make a mess when you're like preparing your food, cause that's me. <laughs> this is gonna sound so weird. And this is really just like a diaries at this point. I'm sure everyone that wanted to see the hair transformation solely like has left by now, but I, never liked having dark hair for the last like five years you guys this is gonna sound stupid but i feel like almost i wasn't like embracing my like asianness once i started going light i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna be like that cool asian girl with like the blonde hair and whatever and i felt reborn which i did and honestly i did feel really confident when i did have blonde hair but now that i have this and i feel like i look more back to like my natural state i just feel like it looks more me like i just feel like happier and i don't know if it's just because it's like a change in how i look or something but like look just i just i don't know i just think this looks really good and you guys have to agree <laughs> so yeah i guess i just had to say that because i do want to document and like you guys know me i'm gonna be honest no matter what and i just feel like this is a turning point in for me and like embracing my dark hair and embracing I don't have to have blonde hair to like feel confident in how I look. Truthfully, when I did start blonding my hair, that's like kind of why I kept with it. But life is so much more than having fake blonde hair. But I did love it. And I really might go back one day because I did love it so much. But I'm just gonna embrace this as it looks and just, I just really like it. This is my mom's homemade sesame dressing. Whoa, whoa. Should I ask my mom how to make this? even though I'm not even gonna make it. But this tastes so good. How do moms do it? <laughs> so I have this salad. I'm only putting it in a Tupperware because I just wanna shake it up. I have that and I have some chicken. My mom got me this rotisserie chicken because when I was home, she just like gave me a bunch of food, which I know not every mom does. So I'm really grateful for her, but I'm just gonna like cut up some rotisserie chicken, put it in this salad and just call it. So thank you, mom, for the chicken. Another thing. I'm really grateful for my mom. I just feel like whenever I'm home, she's always so happy and she's like the mom that would be so happy to give me food and always has food in the fridge. And growing up, my mom just, I feel like it was family time to have dinner together because my mom would make us something. And that was also really precious time with my dad growing up. So I don't know, just the older I get, every time my mom gives me food, I even take it for granted still because she gives me so much, but I'm just really grateful that I have a mom and like is really good at cooking. <laughs> Here's my salad. I'm gonna put it in a bowl so it doesn't feel as depressing. Yum, yum, yum chicken salad. Okay, you guys. 
guys, as my dessert, I'm gonna have a small dessert. I saw Rachel post these, which is crazy because I've been loving them. This is like a dessert that I got for myself when I was at Trader Joe's like a week ago. These are the mini hold the cone ice cream cones in the chocolate chip flavor. And I actually found these because of Kate Ladner. She would always have these like every day in her vlogs. And I was like, I just need to try them. But whenever I was at Trader Joe's, I would always just forget. I don't know why, but like, I feel like I avoid the desserts cause there's just too many, but it was finally time and I found these and you guys, these are so good. Like, look at how small this is. That's so small. Like, look, <gasps> I need to stop. But like, actually though, chocolate, chocolate. Okay. Chocolate ice cream cone, chocolate hair. <laughs> Anyways, so this is gonna be my dessert tonight and I'm honestly just gonna end off this vlog here. I really wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like in the morning, but you guys will just have to follow me on Instagram if you wanna see, because as you guys are watching this, I'm literally gonna have like an Instagram story during the daylight showing my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this day in my life vlog. This is more or less like a hair transformation vlog, but I did spend morning and night with you guys too. This is like a whole day, but mainly this is hair transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I truly have been wanting to film this for so long. Like every time I've done my hair, since I've started my channel, I've always thought like, man, that would be like a fun video to show you guys like how it all looks. I actually just edited like everything up to what you guys are watching right now. Like this ice cream cone, I've actually like edited it during dinner. So I'm in a good place. And I feel like I didn't go into enough detail like every single step, but, but more or less, I'm not blonde anymore. So that's like enough of a hair transformation for me. Let me know again if you guys like this hair or my blonde hair more, or just like your thoughts. I don't know. This was such a great day, even though this was very expensive. It was a very good day. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already. Bye.